Hi everyone, this is a video which will show you the technique of repeated integration. It's a technique which helps you find the value for double integrals. And I'll use this example. I will use this example of double integral to demonstrate this technique. Uh, first look at this short video which shows you the function we integrate uh, and which shows you the domain, domain amiga. And it shows you also the volume under the graph of the function and uh, above it the main amiga. Okay, now when we see the volume, uh, if I want to compute this double integral using the iterated technique, then I have to first uh, represent the domain amiga in iterated form. Uh, one way to do that is this way. That's the sketch of the domain amiga, and that's the two lines of inequalities which gives me which give me which gives me the domain amiga in terms of two double-sided inequalities. As soon as I have the these double-sided inequalities for the domain amiga found. Uh, the double integral, uh, the repeated integral, which corresponds to the, co which corresponds to the initial du double integral, comes up nicely right away from these inequalities. This line is copied as the limits for the outer integrations. This line is copied as the limits for the inner integration. Well, the next short video will demonstrate you the iterated techniques. Will visualize for you the iterated technique in this particular order where x is integrated first and I mean x is integrated up. x is the outer integration and y is the inner integration. Okay. Now observe that the same the same domain amiga can be iterated in the other way, in the way when y is taken as the outer integration, and that's that is done as, as this. This looks a bit more complex than the previous one, but still this is the way you can do the repetition of the given double integral. You see here the domain amiga given by the a set of double side inequalities. First set of inequalities says y between negative one and zero, that's the range which is below the line y equals zero. And for this range, x sits between these two bounds. That's the bounds. The first double inequality gives me the this shaded area, and then the, in the second double inequality gives me this, this shaded area. So it's the, it's the ranges between these two points where the dashed line crosses the amiga area. And the second set of inequalities give me the same description, but now for the part of the amiga sitting above the line y equals zero. That's the same story here. Now just just taking this description of Amiga in terms of this double inequalities, you produce right away the repeated integration which corresponds to the domain Amiga. And just just again, I just copy the this double inequality as the outer limits for the y integration here, and this double inequalities double inequalities for x. Today I just copied for the limits for this inner x integration. The second set of the second set of double inequalities makes the same job the second integral here. <coughs> and finally, just the next video will show you, will visualize for you the repeated integration in this form. Please observe that on the second video, the cut which runs along the y-axis, it just has two, two different, different sections, and that's exactly the fact, that exactly, that corresponds exactly to the fact that here in the in an integral we have two different components. This is it, and this was Dennis Potter of Labar.